Hello, hello. Good morning, ladies. We are live a few minutes, uh, a few minutes later than I thought. So thank you for your patience and your grace. But I'm excited to dive in this morning and um, to share a little skincare magic with you. So I hope this finds you well. I hope that um, you are finding the little joys in this quarantine and sort of as we go into the different phases and hear the different things on the news, I hope you're taking time for you and that you're giving yourself some self-care. No matter what weirdness is swirling around in the world, it's really important that we protect ourselves and that we look after ourselves. Because here's the thing. And I learned this from my dad, who um, went off, joined the Welsh Guards, which is uh, in the British Isles, is, is, is a, a unit of the army, the Welsh Guards. He joined the Welsh Guards when he was 17 and was sent off to fight in the Radvan Mountains. And, uh, and as he was leaving to be uh, de de deployed, not deported, <laughs> deployed out to the Radvan Mountains, his um, uncle Tegid, uh, his Welsh uncle sort of pulled him aside and he said, always remember, Gar, Gary, take care of number one. And my dad always thought this was such strange advice because, you know, Tegid was, uh, a, you know, a, a headmaster, a principal at a school and was just the most kind and gentle and, and uh, giving man. So why would he say, take care of yourself, Gary? You know, um, he was all about giving to others. And when my father, uh, he thought about it, thought about it, uh, you know, fought in the Radval Mountains, came back. And um, as, a, as an adult, he asked Tegid, you know, at a later time, you know, Uncle Tag, it always struck me as such strange advice that you gave me to look after myself. And, um, and he said, well, yes, Gar, because if you don't look after yourself, how can you look after others? Might drop, right? So you've got to take time for yourself, whether you're fighting on the front lines or whether just getting through the day and maybe not getting enough sleep as a mom, <laughs> that's your little battle of the day. You know, it's important that you take time for you. It's important that you look after yourself because if you do, then you can give to others. And, um, and that's that's what we're gonna do this morning. So thank you for joining me. I see we have Cindy. Oh, oh thank you for the hearts. It's lovely to see your hearts. Um, Danielle's on, Melissa Pedersen is on. Hi, Melissa. Jordan's on, Jordan Riddle. Hi, lovey. Um, and Marie, Chrissy, Megan, Tammy. Oh my gosh, Tammy is Jordan's mom. So hi, Tammy, it's so lovely to see you. Um, Sabrina's on in New Jersey. I hope you're taking time for yourself today, lovey. Um, Sabrina, and for all my prayer warriors there, Sabrina's boyfriend's in hospital, and, and I know that she would love to receive some extra prayers for him. His name is Daniel, so um, send those, keep those coming. Um, so ladies, thank you for joining me this morning. So you get to see me barefaced naked this morning. Um, and, uh, you know, fortunately with my good Mary Kay skincare, doesn't look too bad. I did put on some lip balm because I'm wearing KPH lip balm because I thought I need some color on my face if I'm going bare face naked live. So here, here we're going to talk about skin. And um, I actually put out on my customer VIP page, you know, what what's the thing that, what's the issue that concerns a lot of ladies? What would you like to learn about? And the response that came back was discoloration. And as a fractile, I am a human fractile. I am covered in freckles, which you can kind of see in the camera here. I got a bit of discoloration here, okay? I got a bit of discoloration here. So how can we minimize that and prevent, so how can we solve it, but how can we also prevent getting more of it? Because if you have skin like mine, if I ever went out in the sun without SPF, oh my gosh, I'd look like little orphan Annie. Um, I'd freckle like in nobody's business. So I'm going to teach you today. Oh, Terry's on as well. And Chasey Cosmark. Hi, Chelsea. Um, Chelsea, nice to meet you. Um, so I'm going to teach you some essentials of skincare with a special focus on discoloration. So if that is your concern, then buckle up 
because we're going to talk about how to prevent it and how to cure it. Okay, you ready to go? And as always, you know, whenever we go live, we do have little fun giveaways and we've got a fun giveaway today. Um, Rachel and I, if you didn't see it, did uh, a live on Wednesday. So we also have a giveaway for that Wednesday. And if you want to um, win this fantastic, um, this fantastic pH lip balm, which goes to help the Mary Kay Foundation, which is our foundation that raises money for breast, ovarian, cervical cancer research, and women who are victims of domestic violence. So if you want to be in it to win it, don't forget, you can scroll down on this page, you can watch that comment, um, and there are a number of ways that you can get points into our prize drawing. So we've got that prize drawing coming up, and we've got today's prize drawing coming up. So um all righty oh jordan's saying it's a hard knock life and i'm like why is she talking about hard knock life Annie! yes of course don't don't get me singing jordan don't get me singing um it'll happen maybe not today but maybe tomorrow see what i did there okay um so let's get started all right the five essential steps of skincare whether you're 18 or 80 are the same cleansing exfoliating toning hydrating protecting cleansing, exfoliating, toning, hydrating, protecting, okay? And it's actually that protecting step that is gonna help you, thank you for laughing, um, that is gonna help you um, stop getting any more discoloration, okay? Because there are three major reasons why we get discoloration, which is also called hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation. So what are those three reasons? Number one, well, let, let me leave you hanging for a bit. Can anyone guess in the comments one of those three, because the more you comment, ladies, the more you get entries into our prize drawing, okay? So, and prize drawing is a really good one this week. So, um, let me know in the comments if you know one of those three reasons why we might get hyperpigmentation, okay? And it doesn't matter what color skin you are, you know, what shade. If you're sort of a Celtic, uh, pale, pale gal like myself, pale lass, or whether you're sort of more beige or whether you're more bronze or that really dark bronze, you can still get discoloration, okay? Don't think that it's something just for Irish girls, okay? Um, so, um, oh, Chrissy said sun damage. Yes, Chrissy, that is one. So UVA, UVB. Some people call them sunspots, some people call them age spots. And you'll probably notice if you get your mirror and you have a little look, you probably have more discoloration on the side that is your driving side, okay? You know, um, maybe I wasn't supposed to guess. Well, Chrissy would give you a buy, you know? Um, well, you guess that too, Jordan. And I think your mom's the genetics. Yeah, I mean, we are prone to that. I'm going to add that as a fourth one. So you're giving me a fourth category, Tammy. So we've got genetics because, yeah, um, certainly there is that predisposition, isn't it? Um, and um, then we have sun damage. There are two other ones. So I'm gonna, oh, Jordan said over exfoliating. Jordan, boom, you got it, yeah, yeah. Which is why it's really important you don't use one of those really aggressive scrubs. Like, I'm not gonna mention other names, but there's one that has fruit in it that is maybe an apricot. And um, it has very, thick like granules that really basically causes such trauma for your skin. So that's what we call it, trauma. And over exfoliation can really lead to that discoloration. There's one more ladies and I am going to get started and see if you mention as we go. And my friend Kathy is on. So hi, Kathy Patrici. I hope you're well this morning. Okay, so we're gonna start with a cleansing, exfoliating, toning, which is all done in this step. But this also lifts and it also brightens. So hooray for that brightness. So discoloration um, solving number one through our amazing cleanser. And whether you're using our four-in-one cleanser for 20s to 40s, or whether you're using our Volufoam cleanser for 40 plus, is like myself, um, that's going to give you that um, extra brightness in your skin. So I'm just going to take a little, little water, bless myself, put this on, and I'm not doing a half and half face today. You've all seen me do that before. If you haven't, scroll down in the videos and you'll see it. Don't forget, ladies, that the more comments, the more pride and the more entries into the prize drawing, okay? And I'll tell you what that is when we get to it. So 
you see that this gets white, this one. If Ladies, if you haven't used this one before, this is my favorite cleanser because it's doing so much in one. So if you find you put it on and you're not getting the whiteness, you just haven't added enough water. You just need to activate it a bit more, okay? Now, I'm going to get my skin figurate because that's going to help me slough off all that dead skin so that when we do the next steps, they're going to be more effective. They're going to go down deeper, okay? This is always so weird doing this on, on live. Let's see. I need someone to call my husband and tell him how bad that fruit scrub is. He doesn't, well, you know, actually, it's probably a good thing if you use it like on harsher, on areas that have bigger pores. You know, I wonder if it's just maybe better for or designed more for like your back. Like if he gets back breakouts, you know, by your shoulders where you sweat, maybe that's a good scrub for that. But it's certainly not a good scrub for your face. Terrible for your face. Like, just so bad, so bad. So this is, of course, the fabulous, love this thing, totally in love with this thing, um, the Skin Vigorate Sonic. And this has a timer for one minute. Da, 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 da. So it's helping clean, clean out my pores. It's helping take that top layer of dead skin. It's really getting all that stuff off and it's massaging my face at the same time. So it just timed out. You see, Unlike when I do this at night, at night is like covered in foundation. It looks pretty clean right now, so this is a good thing, right? Um, so I have cleansed that. Now I'm gonna take my wet washcloth and just rinse off. And I'm using, of course, my complimentary Mary Kay washcloth, my charcoal washcloth. That's a clue to what's coming in a moon. Okay, so I just cleanse that off and it feels nice and fresh and clean. As I sing to my son when I get him in the bath, say fresh and clean, fresh and clean. William is fresh and clean. Anyway, I'll save you that. <laughs> Seems I'm singing a lot to this baby boy, um, damaging his eardrums. Anyway, all right, we've just cleansed, we've exfoliated, we've toned, we've brightened, and of course, this Volley Farm one lifts and firms at the same time. Love it, love it, love it. So now I'm gonna do my mask of the day, which is the charcoal. Now I know we typically talk about charcoal when it comes to extracting from pores, but this has the navy bean in it. Mary Kay has a patent on the navy bean. So what the navy bean does is it helps with discoloration. And we are the only, because we have the patent, we're actually the only company that can use it. Awesome. Now, I focus in on those areas when I'm focusing on discoloration that I get discolored. So for me, that top lip has to be covered. Um, now, we're still looking for one reason why we uh, get that discoloration. Can anyone, is anyone still guessing? Guess, feel free to still get, uh, guess. Okay. I'm going up here too, because that collects, that area can collect a lot of sun damage. I rarely go outside now in the sunshine when it's high sunshine without a cap or a hat on. And ladies, honestly, I know it feels wonderful to have the sun on your face, but no tan is a safe tan. No tan is a safe tan. And you can, you see, William heard me sing the Fresh and Clean song, and now he's woken up. And you can hear him in the background, so. So there we go. I love this thing, by the way. This is really, um, this has really uh, changed the way that I am able to get much more longevity out of my charcoal because I'm not using as much. You know, usually it's on my fingertips um, prior to getting this and uh, I would waste a lot. It's all right. He, I'm not leaving him on his own. He's got his daddy through there in the swing. So Stephanie says, hi there, Alan. I'm just popping on. I'm on a break from orientation training. I'm ordering my brush tonight. Oh, that's so exciting. Um, Tammy said, I love my skin figure eight. Makes me take at least one minute. Yes. And it's good to do that. You're getting the circulation going, okay? You're getting off that top layer of dead skin cells, which as we age, our skin cell turnover slows down. That's why, as adults, it takes us, there they are, there are my boys, um, takes them longer to heal as adults than it does as a kid. You know, as a kid, you know, we fall over, we, oh, hello. Have you ever seen me with a charcoal on before? Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, dear. I'm going to emotionally scar the poor chap when he sees this. But anyway, um, so, gosh, where was I? Mummy brain. Boop. 
Yep, it's gone. Can't remember what I was going to say. But anyway, um, Lindsay is watching. Hi, Lindsay Bird. I've seen you on here before, so it's nice to see you again. We're going to be showing lots of new things in a minute, so you'll get to see this do its do. Um, uh, so then we have, doo -doo -doo -doo, I need the skin vigorate. Yeah, the skin vigorate. So let me tell you a little bit about this, okay? Because I've lost my train of thought before. If you know what I was talking about, and um, you can remind me where I was, feel free to throw it in the comments because I can't remember. Anyway, so this Skin Vigorate, why is it so different? It's called the Skin Vigorate Sonic, and it doesn't swirl, it pulses, okay? And this not only massages the skin, but it really gets off so much gunk. Now, you might say to me, oh yes, Eleanor, but I don't wear foundation, so I don't really have gunk on my face. No, you do. You do. So think of, I love analogies and I'm very visual. So if you think of your face, like your car windshield, okay, your car windshield, even if you don't take that car out, even if you don't drive it, okay, just by being in the open air or even being in your garage, yeah, parked in your garage, schmutz is still landing on that windshield, right? Schmutz is still, so stuff from the environment. And this is our windshield. Okay, schmutz is still landing on our windshield, okay? Our own personal windshield. Not to mention the schmutz that you can't see, the free radicals that are harming your skin, um, the dead skin cells, bacteria, all of that stuff, the excess natural oil that we make, right? It's all there, so we need to take it off. Oh, I think, was I saying before about skin cells? Oh, there we go, Sabrina. You're awesome. Um, skin cells, aging, dead skin cell. Yes, less cycling. So we heal as little kidlets like William. We heal so quickly, don't we? And, you know, a little cut or a scrape. On, on, on. My knees used to be permanently like covered in scabs from falling over on the playground at school and stuff. And they would heal so quickly. As an adult, not so much. Not so much, right? So it's the same with our face. Our skin cell turnover slows down. So this helps us speed it up. So we've always got that kind of bright, vibrant, radiant, youthful looking skin. And don't we all want bright, vibrant, radiant looking skin? Yes, we do. Okay. So this is going to do its do. Now, usually when I take the time to do a mask, I'm also taking time to do the hydrogels. Gosh, ladies, I love these things. And in the heat and not sleeping as much as I would like, they have just been such a godsend. But I really feel that you get most use out of these when you leave them on your skin for more than 10 minutes. And this mask is 10 minutes and I'm going to be speedy bringing you some magic this morning. So I'm going to do these tonight or tomorrow night for my weekend treat, but I'm going to leave them on. And, and I tell you, it says on the, says on the rules, it says on the pot, you know, keep them on for 20 minutes. No ladies, no, no. 20 minutes is not enough for Eleanor. I keep them on for like a full hour if I can. Okay. If I'm just pottering around the house, who cares? I'm going to keep them on. And you'll see as they dry out, they kind of shrink, they get smaller. So although I place them around here, by the time I finished out of the hour, they're like down here. Okay. Cause they've dried up. Um, but really, really amazing things. Now, instead of that today, I'm going to show you another little thing for your eye when we get to that. Okay. Um, so this is drying. Um, and I see the fabulous Rachel Cooney is on. Hello, good morning. She's a brand new independent sales director uh, with Mary Kay, and she has her own unit of fabulous women. A lot I see on here this morning, um, including Chrissy. Chrissy, you leave your hydrogels on for 60 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I say, you know, um, you know, if, uh, if you're watching a movie, if you're doing it at night and maybe you're relaxing, maybe you're having a glass of vino, make it an experience, you know, pop a, pop a set of hydrogels on your hubby as well. You know, it's something that he can use also. And, you know, I have some powerful photos to share with you and really all of our products can be used by men. We do have a men's skincare line and that's physiologically, um, their skin is different from ours, so it's designed for their skin, but, uh, and of course has shaving products included, but there is no reason why men cannot use these because quite frankly, they need it too. 
they get puffy eyes and discoloration as well. So, um, da -da -da. so da -da -da. what am I missing in the comments? I see, yes, uh, replying to Melissa. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so uh, Melissa said, I got my hydrogels last night. I'll try them later today. Awesome. So here's my tip for Melissa, okay? Because it's going to be hot today. What's the high today? 88, 85, something like that. I did ask Alexa, but I can't remember what she said. It was in the 80s. Pop these in the fridge, Melissa. Feels so soothing when you put them on your eyes. It's just like, whew, you know, so refreshing. So really, really awesome. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and um, hopefully you can share, see all of these. So I was in a quandary today. When I knew I was sharing about discoloration, I was like, well, do I want to share the charcoal mask or do I want to share the glycolic facial peel? Because quite frankly, you could use both. I've got a hair in my mouth. And both could help with discoloration, okay? This is specifically designed to help with discoloration because of that navy bean brightening component, okay? Um, the glycolic facial peel, which has the rather long name of revealing radiance glycolic facial peel. Okay, that helps in a different way. So that can help with discoloration, but that's not its main primary function. Okay, its primary function is to be an anti-aging mask that takes off the signs of lines and wrinkles. And as you can see by this brilliant photograph here, this lady demoed it on one of the back of her hands. And as you can tell, pretty easy to tell. She demoed it on her left, okay? Now, how does that figure into discoloration? Well, you get like a twofer, okay? Because if you were to use that Revealing Radiance Glycolic Facial Peel Mask, right? Such a long name. Um, that would take off the top surface and refine lines and wrinkles, get rid of those. But then you've got like this blank canvas and this clear shoot, this clear run for your tone correcting serum, which is going to be the serum we use today for that to go down deep. There's nothing blocking it. Okay. And that's the important thing. You know, I meet a lot of ladies who say, you know, oh, Eleanor, I've got X brand serum or even Mary Kay, this serum or that serum, whether it's an advanced lifting serum that is what we call Botox in a bottle and gives you a facelift, whether it's the tone correcting serum to help against discoloration, whether it's the pore minimizing serum to shrink your pores. Whichever serum you're using, if you're not putting it on clean skin that has been cleansed, exfoliated, and toned, how is it going to penetrate? How is it going to get to where you want it to be? And you want it to really be, when you're, when you're spending money on a serum, you want it to be readily absorbed and you want it to go down deep. So the joy of this glycolic facial peel, which is a fraction of the price that you would spend at the spa, um, is that it's clearing the path for that serum to be absorbed. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, here is my chap, not my chap, he's not my chap, he's not my husband. Um, but here is my photograph of the chap. Um, showing the hydrogels. So if we had had more time today, I would have shown you that. And you may have seen these before. If you haven't, jump onto one of my hydrogel videos. It's amazing stuff. And for $40 for a whole pot of these, you get 60 of these bad boys. So Melissa Penderson made a really good choice. Well done, Melissa. So this is the charcoal face mask. And as I say, the primary function is to extract any blocked pores or blackheads. But its secondary function is to help with discoloration. So you can see with this lady here, I mean, she suffered with rosacea for years and years and years and couldn't find anything to help with that redness. Well, the navy bean content in this really help with that. So it's just brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to stop the share now. Boop. And we'll bring it back here. Do you see how it's dried on my face? And um, I have another before and after picture I can show you, but it sort of pulls out the gunk, particularly in my pores there. But I also lavished it here because this is where I get a bit of discoloration and this is. So the navy bean content um, is really going to help remove that. So then I take my Mary Kay washcloth, which is, by the way, a free gift from Mary Kay. You can get it with your charcoal face mask purchase. And it's great because it means you're not staining your white washcloths, right? Um, so I just get a little basin of water here. I just get a little bit of water on this. And then the way I take this off, I don't rip it. I don't, because you don't want to rip your skin. Like Jordan said before, you know, 
trauma, right? You don't want to rip your skin. Anything that you're ripping, you don't want to do it. Okay. So I'm sort of loosening it and then I'm wiping away. Okay. Loosen and wipe. Loosen and wipe. Did we get, I know Tammy had said genetics. I know we had said sun damage. I know um, Jordan had said trauma, sort of ripping and, and, and using something that's too harsh. Did we get the fourth one yet? Does anyone want to guess what the fourth reason for getting discoloration is? Anyone got that? Oh, Nancy's on. Hello, Nancy. Da -da -da -da. And Anne Marie's on. Hi, Anne Marie. So great to see you here this morning. Are you drinking coffee? I know Anne Marie, like I am, we are coffee fiends, I think. Yes. Um, oh, that's a great guess. And you know, I don't know if that would be wrong, but it's not the one I'm thinking of. I think that's a great guess. The biologist in me loves that because I truly feel diet has so much to do with, you know, how we look, how we age, how we feel. It's our fuel, right? If we're not putting in premium, supreme brand fuel, I'm having children. I love that too, Jordan. That's a great suggestion. It certainly changes the color of your hair, doesn't it? Seriously, since I've had Will, well, actually, when I was pregnant, I found like my first gray hair and I'm like, oh, dang. Stuff's getting real, ladies. Stuff's getting real. Um, there's no Mary Kay for gray hair yet, but you know. All right, but again, it's important you take that self-care time, right? And then you might have less gray hair. So, um, oh, thank you, Rachel Cooney. Your skin looks so fresh. Yeah, I'm just hoping that I've, I've removed all of the chocolate. No, you see, you see? I would have gone out today with um, charcoal nostrils. Always, you know, be aware of that, ladies. That's not sexy. Charcoal nostrils, not sexy. Charcoal, uh, five o'clock shadow not sexy. And you know, it's Saturday, so it's probably date night, right? Who's going on a date tonight? Is anyone going out? Are people going out yet now, that, you know, with COVID and, and stuff now that we're allowed to sort of not gather in big groups, but we can gather? Is anyone actually going out or are you still all like, I have a baby, so I don't count because my rock star evening last night was, you know, what did, what did we even watch? Oh, we're watching the Umbrella Academy right now. That's what we're watching. But anyway, anywho. All righty, so my skin feels fresh. <laughs> Rachel Cooney, lol, what's date night? Oh, Jordan went out on a date last night. Awesome. Well, you see, that's because Jordan has a fiance. <laughs> when you're married, Jordan, that ends. No, I'm joking. <laughs> joking. You establish the patterns that you want, right? Um, all righty. So this is the Tone Correcting Serum. Let me tell you about this, ladies, because this has, again, the navy bean, which is a skin brightening breakthrough, okay? So the navy bean really has clinically shown, or rather this product has clinically shown to improve skin brightness. And that's not just like Mary Kay rigorously tests this, not only is it tested by Mary Kay, but also the FDA, and it adheres to the European standards. So when this was tested, 95% of women experienced a reduction in dark spots, age spots, hyperpigmentation. 95%, you guys. That's, that's a really high statistic. We love that. We love it, love it, love it. And that's after using it for 12 weeks. So um, so let me show you how it how it works. So you pump it, boop, boop, and it's kind of a, a gel formulation, like a serum, okay? I am going to sort of put it on my lips, on my cheeks, okay? And I sort of blend it in. And then I take, because I want it to go down deep, I take my cleansing brush off my Skin Vigorate. I put on my massaging tool and I massage it in. And this way, I'm getting more bang for my buck because it's, it's going down deep. Okay, Jordan said she was kid-free, so needs to take advantage. Absolutely. Did Karina, was she with your mom? What was Karina doing? I bet Karina had a fun night too. Um, Melissa, have not been in a restaurant except to get takeout. Yeah, us too. We've been trying to support local businesses. We've got in Scranton just such great restaurants, so we, we love 
I love supporting local. Um, I had one of my sister Mary Kay sales directors visit me on Tuesday and she bought me, she bought me a ton of food that she had baked for me, which was so nice. So we haven't had to cook for the last, we're so spoiled. We haven't had to cook for like the last however many days, um, last four nights or so. So, uh, but we're getting to the end of that. So I'm either gonna have to cook tonight or Matt is, or guess what, we're getting takeout. So. Um, that, that was the minute timer, so it's gone in. It's been really readily absorbed. And I just, I love that our serums aren't sticky. You know, they're really, like I said, they're really readily absorbed. Um, Chrissy, we're seeing family and close friends. We're going out to breakfast once a week. I love going out for breakfast. I could have breakfast for dinner, you know. I was thinking this morning of um, when I was first here in America, you know, American pancakes are very different from, pancakes we have in England. Our pancakes that we have on Shrove Tuesday or whatever, they're more like crepes and we have them with lemon, freshly squeezed lemon and brown sugar. Okay, and we roll them up and we eat them like, it looks like a fat cigar, you know? Um, or I guess a skinny burrito, you know, that type of thing. So pancakes over here are really different. When I was first here, I was like, oh, pancakes. <laughs> and the fact that you could get peanut butter chips and have pancakes with peanut butter chips, this was just like, mind-blowing <laughs> but I was thinking about this morning like it's been such a long while since I've had you know pancakes with peanut butter chips in but anyway um so uh eating breakfast uh outside D -d -d downtown deli oh downtown deli is great yeah I love that I love Bob Paso for the uh, there are so many places I love um Kathy Patrizzi had a phone call sorry you still live we're still live it's nice to see you Kathy we have just put on our tone correcting serum and uh Jordan said she was watching movies with her sister having a blast oh awesome so Karina was well entertained that's awesome so now we have solved the problem of discoloration okay so we've solved it but now we also want to prevent it and you know stop having any more sun damage and so that's where we take our day cream that SPF content is so important ladies when it comes to your skincare regimen okay so 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 important so these are our um volume firm day cream and night cream and i love it because it has this pump dispenser so you're not contaminating the product you're not dipping your fingers in and out um so this is my day cream with the spf 30 and again i'm avoiding that eye area but i'm totally going over my cheeks my lips get a little more there and i'd also put this on my neck very often i'll go down to my my decollete ladies you know, because you don't want to get like crepey cleavage. So it's really important you go down there too. And with a hungry little tick goblin on me for the last nearly seven weeks, you know, you start to notice like, oh, you know, you're more aware of your tissue down there. So you need to moisturize and tone it up and give it what it needs. I'm actually using the Mary Kate from the Naturally line, the nourishing oil love the nourishing oil and I don't have stretch marks so for nursing moms or for moms who are pregnant I highly recommend so there you go and also of course the tone um toning body lotion that's really awesome too that goes around my thighs okay so now we put on the day cream okay I'm going to do a little something something for my eyes and this is the different thing I want to show you as opposed to the hydrogels so when I need a little burst of something underneath my eyes and I'm still going to put on my fabulous eye cream okay because that has the anti-aging bit but maybe I just want a little bit of wakening up I want that cool feeling and I want to de-puff okay this has the aloe the cucumber and is like totally cooling and soothing and it's only $16 so I love that too the price point is great it's like a big refresher for your eyes in fact I have a fabulous um I have a fabulous customer called Tara and um, she keeps this in her fridge and she says, you know, she'll go and she'll pop it on, you know, if she needs to pick me up halfway through the day. And I think that's a brilliant idea. So you just pat it all around. You don't want to get it like in your eye. So you just pat it around. It's going to give me a little refresher. And I'm patting it on my lid as well. Boop, boop, boop. 
Very often, you guys, if I'm not washing my face straight away in the morning, you know, like, if I'm up to, to nurse and um, I'm not necessarily jumping in the shower straight away, I'll put that on um, and go up, you know, it wakes me up in the morning. Um, if I don't, you know, if I'm not hydrogelling that day, I'll still put this on and then go and make the coffee, let the dog out, come in, do my nursing, all of that jazz. So that sinks in. Okay, I'm going to let that. Um, and then I'm going to take my titanium tipped eye cream because this is the anti-aging one so this is the one that will help with dark circles and it will help with lines and wrinkles so i can use both of those okay i probably you know want to give it a little bit to sink in but yeah it's really important that we look after this delicate eye area so it needs that little something something that little tlc okay Jordan says, I love the toning body lotion. Anne-Marie loves the tit goblin. Isn't that funny? His daddy made up that, that name. Um, I was just calling him the milk guzzler, but um, so it's not necessarily my PC. The tit goblin isn't PC, but it sure is funny, right? Um, okay, so that's my eyes taken care of. Now I'm going to quickly put on my primer. Again, my primer has SPF, and when I'm talking about color correction, um, SPF is really important, okay? Again, preventing that you get more dis preventing any more discoloration. But in this heat too, you want any color correcting stuff that you put on your face to stay on your face, right? You don't want it melting off. So this is going to act like a magnet for your foundation, for your concealer, whatever you're using, okay? Now, excitingly, we have some new Mary Kay products they get to unveil to you today. All right, so we have two color correcting sticks now, okay? Now one helps with redness. So this is our green one, okay? And this, if you get redness, if you get rosacea, you put this stick on underneath your foundation in the spots that you need it, and then and it really neutralizes that redness, okay? Then this is the new one. It's called Ditch Dull, okay? Isn't that a cool name? Ditch Dull. And it's like lilac, okay? Can you see that color? Oh, here. Ooh. Okay, now. This really brightens up your face because it's for more yellow. So it neutralizes yellow, okay? Now, in the new Mary Kay lookbook, which um, actually you'll be able to get today um, and ask your Mary Kay consultant if she will text you the e-catalog and you can have this in your hands today. So do you see ready, set, correct, okay? And it's mainly where we get that yellow around our eyes and around our mouth here. So the areas that kind of have to have to bend, I suppose. Um, so this is my first time using this, you guys. Live. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I still got a little bit of eye cream there. I need to. Ha, ha, ha. So I'm going to go a little swipe here. Ooh, ah. A little swipe here. Going to do a little swipe here. Now, because I get a little bit of dis discoloration there, I always put a little extra something there. Let's see if that looks ridiculous on me. Okay. Doodle-loo. Doodle-loo. Okay. Can you see that? <laughs> All right. Let's give it a go. It actually feels very creamy going on, you know? I mean, it glides. It's not like stiff. I've used some eye crayons, not Mary Kay, of course, but pre-Mary Kay uh, eye crayons like this before. And I've been like, ooh, it drags on your skin, but this doesn't drag. So let's see. I suppose you could blend it in with your finger, but whenever I'm doing anything, I like to blend with my beauty blending brush. Oh yeah, that goes in quite quickly and easily. That's surprising. I thought I'd have to sort of rub it in more. Yeah, I can see that it's, I'm not sure if you can see her in the color here, but it's blending. I should have done like one side. Oh, well, you can, you can kind of see, you know, I've, I've drawn the lines there, but you can kind of see. Can you see how it's sort of taken down that coloration? Go on the other side. Now you would put your foundation over the top and I'm going to today. 
And I've just discovered something really cool, actually. Um, if you're not registered on your consultant's website, totally go and register on your consultant website, okay? Why? I will tell you. Because our fantastic um, matteware and luminousware foundations, okay, there is a foundation quiz that is really super accurate. And even if you don't in COVID have time to get together or you know want to get together face to face with your consultant, you can go on her website, fill in a little quiz, and it will guide you as to which foundation color is right for you. And here's the thing, even if it wasn't right for you, guess what? There's that 100% money back guarantee. Hurrah, we love shopping with your Mary Kay consultant because it's risk free, awesome. So do you see how that color correcting stick has really kind of blended in my, my discoloration? And what it should do, because it neutralizes the yellow, and I have a little bit of yellow to my skin, it should make me look brighter and more wide awake. Okay, so um, can I send you the, ca yeah, absolutely I can, Kathy, I would love to. And I see that Jody has joined us, so hi Jody. Um, Jordan, you said yes, OMG. Are you saying yes, OMG, you can see the difference? Isn't this thing cool? I just, I, I, I'm, I'm excited about this. I was like, either this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting trying it live on Facebook, but I'm glad to say, you know, I, I can really see a difference. I hope that in the camera um, and with that color, you can too. So this is just $14, you guys, 14. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I do my foundation. So this is my matteware foundation. I put a little bit on. You don't have to make the sound effect. Okay. Okay. And I wear beige neutral 150. Okay. And I wear the beige neutral 150 because when I go out in the sunshine, um, I would burn and then I would tan. Okay. And so that, that is usually evidence of a natural under a neutral undertone, okay? If I were to burn and burn, that's, that's usually an indication that you are a cool undertone. And if you tan and tan all day long, all night long, well, not all night, because you wouldn't tan at night, but you know what I mean. If you were to tan all day and all, all day, that would mean you're a warm undertone, okay? So that's the difference there. But do you see, I, I love this foundation. I really love it. And although I have more dry to normal skin, I still prefer the matte finish, okay? I don't find the matte wear dries me out. It does have more oil absorbency in it, but it doesn't dry me. Um, whereas the luminous looks dewy on me. And I'm like, well, I don't necessarily want the dewy right now. Maybe I will in the winter, but in the summer, I don't necessarily want Dewey. Harada. So there is my last bit about discoloration. Oh, no, it's not. What am I saying, Ilano? Um, That is my foundation. Now, I know I usually, with quick skincare, show the CC cream. CC cream is quick and easy and has SPF, and it has eight benefits of skincare. So it is a brilliant, brilliant brilliant foundation. But if I'm really wanting color correction and I'm really wanting to disguise any dark spots, age spots, I'm going to want a liquid. Now, a lot of people shy away from liquid because they think it's going to be pancake heavy. Ours is not. This is super light. It feels, feels like, you know, doesn't feel like anything on your skin, which is great because you don't, who wants to wear a heavy layer, you know? Um, it blends into your natural skin tone, so you won't see that line of demarcation around my, around my neck, around my jawline. Really great, great stuff, okay? Um, so as I say, if you haven't tried our foundations and you're thinking, well, I'd love to know which shade I am, go on your consultant's website, take the quiz, do you know there's even a quiz there for your, um, what else, Eleanor? There's a quiz there um, for what mascara would suit you. There are so many great, fun, interactive tools on your Mary Kay Consultants website. So if you haven't been, jump on and, and have a go. So other things to help with discoloration are these two bad boys here, okay? Now they look the same, but they're not. They're very different, okay? So one is called the Under Eye Corrector amazing tool. You've probably seen me show it before. It's just, you know, 
super cool um, and really neutralizes um, that discoloration underneath your eye. So let me get that up so you can see it. This is what this does. Da, 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 da. Um, and hopefully you can see that just $16 is very different from a concealer, which is this. So a concealer doesn't neutralize the um, purple or the blue underneath your eye. A concealer disguises red, brown, pink. So if you have a blemish, if you have a scar, this is what you want to use, okay? If you have that sort of darkness, okay? So if I weren't using the um, purple stick, the color correcting stick, or if I needed a little bit more, you know, if I had a really dark spot, a real, you know, bad age spot, then I could put a bit of concealer here. Um, let's just go to town. Let me just do it today. Boom. Boom. And I put that there. But for the darker hue underneath my eyes, I'm not going to put my concealer there. I'm going to put my um, under eye corrector there. So I've got a bit much. A little bit of this goes a really long way, by the way, you guys. So I kind of do a little boop, boop, a little V underneath there. Gonna look like a Picasso painting, right? Um, and then you just blend those in. And you could use uh, you could use a concealer brush or you could use the beauty blending brush, but you just wanna all blend it in. Because I have nails and these prenatal vitamins, you know, have made my nails go crazy, crazy growth and really strong. Um, I don't wanna stab myself in the eye, but that should really sort of brighten up underneath my eye area. It should help with my sort of dark mustache area. It's not really a mustache, I pluck that, you know. TMI, probably. Okay, um, and then here, and hopefully you can really see a major difference and that any discoloration is kind of nuked, okay? But what I love about like the concealer, had I put it right underneath my eyes, it would have looked cakey, right? But the under eye corrector does not. So both are 16, really brilliant tools. Um, does anyone have any questions? Christy says, the under eye corrector is my magic weapon. Yes, absolutely. Where do they find the quizzes? Oh, crikey. That's a great question. You know, um, let's see. I'm not sure I can do that at the same time, Christy. But if you go to your website, it should have something that says the quizzes. I've only seen it from um, a Mary Kay In Touch angle, which is our consultant website. So out for you. I'll put it on the comments. I'm feeling now I really need some some color because I've gone over with my uh, foundation so my lips look a little ghostly. And actually that's another tip that can help um, your lipstick stay on a little longer. You know, when you put when you put concealer on first. So, da, da, da. so all I would do now if I'm going to be at home, which I am today, is, you know, maybe do some brows, pop on some mascara, love our mascaras, and, and the skin looks good. It should look nice and not producty, but it should look nice and even, because I tell you what, it's discoloration that can really make us look older than we are, okay? It's less lines and wrinkles nowadays that is the thing that makes us look old, it's it's discoloration, dark spots, age spots. So how old you are is your business, but how old you look is your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant's business. So if you have any questions, do ask her, do let her know and test her, grill her, put her to the test. That's all part of the Mary Kay service. And just to give you a little recap of what I use today, and you can make a note of it and get in contact with your consultant, or she'll follow up with you if she's seen you on the thread, um, and she'll see if there's anything that you need at this time. Um, and if there is, there are three ways you can go about getting it. Yes, three ways you can go about getting it. Because, you know, you can't get Mary Kay in stores. And quite frankly, who wants to shop in stores like right now? I'd much rather get service brought to my door, delivered in a cute little bag with a little love note and maybe a little goodie in there for me. Wouldn't you? 
Yes. So you can either shop with her directly, either on her website or by calling her, texting her, emailing her, whatever you like, um, but shopping directly with her without having to pay for shelf space and advertising. So you're getting a really great deal on a department store quality product. Number two, the next way you can get your hands on goodies is by having a virtual sesh with her. They're called our new beauty sessions and I will tell you that our full line is available and it's come into the lineup today so if you want to try the new things you can be among the first people to have a feeling fabulous full beauty sesh facial sesh with your girlfriends and you can get freebies that way so if your wish list is greater than your budget share it with some friends and you get freebies, okay? Um, so that's the second way you can go about getting it. And the third way you can go about getting it is shopping with yourself. Um, we actually have a plan right now, which is called our e-start, where you can get your Mary Kay 50% purchasing power, which basically means in layman's terms, you can shop with yourself at 50% off. Ladies. You can shop with yourself at 50% off. That's really nice. If you're using Mary Kay Skin and Color and you're washing your face day in, day out, why not get a discount, right? Well, that starts, um, you can have your own Mary Kay discount. You can start your very own, what's called e-start business, get the Mary Kay website and credit card processing and have that 50% purchasing power for just $30. Just $30. It's like the best store card you know when you go in and you get like as, as a rewards card like to shop at a store at a discount you know that's like getting that for thirty dollars and being able to shop at fifty percent for the rest of your life so cool um there's also the starter kit that is a hundred dollars that comes with a lot of mary key tools that's valued over five hundred dollars or there's the e-start with the website the credit card processing the fifty percent purchasing power and the starter kit with all the demo tools for one 30. So if you want to get your discount and shop with yourself, that's your third option. So option number one, you can get in contact and be serviced by your consultant. She will be so, so glad that you got in contact with her or that she contacted you and you were interested in some of the products we showed today. So that's the first way. The second way is that you get it free when you share a beauty sesh with a few girlfriends. And the third way to get it is shop with yourself and spend uh, get it at 50% off. So those are your options. We're all about options. And Jordan says, you look amazing. Oh, I'm glad I got to see the color correcting sticks because now I know how great it works. Thank you, Jordan. And I'm so glad you were able to see. My skin feels, it's so funny because you see, I see it on camera and I'm like, can people see the differences? But I've got my phone here and I'm like, oh, you know, you, you, you can see the color of my skin better in the, in the phone than you can my camera. So, hurrah. Um, all right, ladies, it was fabulous spending our Saturday morning. I think I'm under an hour as well. How cool is that? Usually, you know me. So I'll cut up your comments. So if you're watching this on replay, ladies, you can still comment and be in it to win it for our prize drawing, which will be one of the new ditch dull color correcting sticks of $14. Um, and we'll do the... When we have enough comments, we'll do the prize drawing and we'll go live on the Girlfriend Gathering page. But for now, have a wonderful weekend. Um, do um, take time to look after yourself and um, then you can look after the other people around you. So thank you for joining me. If you have any more questions, let me know or call your consultant, or text your consultant, or email her or Facebook her. So many options, right? Have a wonderful day. Cheerio for now.